Hello friends and welcome to the first, and possibly last, video of a new series where I give music tips and provide song samples, because who even reads anymore? Today I'll be giving some tips on how to write video game style melodies, anything from this is my happy hometown full of love to uh, my father is a 5,000 year old demon who constantly reincarnates me to be his eternal disciple. Just normal video game things, just gamer things. Some things to keep in mind, these are personal tips, not rules. Uh, these aren't the sole methods of creating video game melodies. Hell, sometimes I don't even follow them. And uh, just breaking conventions is just another part of art or something. These aren't tips from some kind of musical genius. I'm, I'm just a lad who's, who's working hard to hopefully become one someday. And the last thing to keep in mind, you're not going to be making masterpieces overnight. Uh, just remember that these things take time and practice. Tip 1, Rhythm and Repetition. For me, making a melody can sometimes be like hammering a nail. You can smack it at a steady pace to have it go in smoothly, or you can blindly swing and hope that eventually the nail will be in the board. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, uh, there's a certain structure to some melodies that make them memorable. The rhythm and repetition, it's essentially easier to hammer the melody into one's mind. Uh, I, I'm kind of bad at this. I'm not doing this for the meme, but Megalovania is kind of a perfect example of this. The intro is essentially the same pattern with the only difference being in the rhythm notes. While it is possible to make a memorable melody without this tip, uh, throwing around random notes and putting them on every beat without any room to breathe can turn bad real fast. But it's still possible to make stuff this way. For example, here's a standard melody. And here's something that, while in the proper scale, sounds a bit messier. Do you kind of see what I mean there? Are you are you vibing with what I'm vibing? Basically, there's more room to breathe in the main melody. That being said, the messier one still isn't bad. Uh, even if it isn't as memorable, there can still always be a use for it if you see that it has potential. Which brings me to my next tip, tip 1.5. Uh, don't toss your lesser ideas in the trash. At least, just not yet. Just hang on to it. In this case, I could probably just throw that melody in the back as a background to fill out the song a little more. Here's another example I made to, uh, attack your childhoods. Let's try the same thing with the main theme from The Legend of Zelda. So here's the normal version. And here's a version where the lead is a little bit messier. Still in scale, but also just, just kinda garbage. But with that being said, you can definitely touch up the messy melody a little bit and throw it in the background just like the other example. See, that kind of works. Or you could just, you know, completely leave it out. Either way. <laughs> tip 2. Let the melody sing. So this tip is also a pretty loose one. Uh, to be honest, all the tips are. You're free to do anything in art as long as you enjoy it. Just, just remember that. This tip is something I follow if I want the melody to truly stick out above all else and be remembered. The rhythm notes are just as important and should not be thought of as a side thing. I, I don't know. The rhythm is what carries the song first. The melody is what comes after. It'd be like having a grandchild before a grandparent even exists or, or something. I, I, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Look, here, here's an example of what I mean. So that example is all fine and dandy, but here's what happens when the rhythm tries to sing over the melody a bit too much. So yeah, not as good. I mean, obviously there's some potential in there, but you should, bleh, look, look at it. Here's an example of the rhythm being more in rhythm, but the notes still aren't, you know, backing it up properly. You know, and, and by properly I mean just, just something that doesn't vibe with me personally. But that doesn't mean you can't get ideas from experimenting with stuff like that. For example, if you make the rhythm sing a little bit more, you could still make it fit kind of like this.
that's the stuff. That That is the stuff, my dude. Now, in other cases, the rhythm can be more of a melody than the lead itself. Something like this. I feel like I might have summoned some kind of eldritch demon with that example. Anyways, when it comes to making a melody, sometimes I'll come up with a rhythm progression first and then loop it so I can jam over it and make said melody. But uh, sometimes I'll get the melody idea first in my head, then I'll record that and then loop it until I figure out a good rhythm. So just, just do the things. Tip three, variations. Y'all ever been to Bulk Barn? There's so many different things and different flavors there. Every time I buy stuff from there, I, I end up feeling like garbage. Maybe because I had way too much of the same thing. Instead of getting a bunch of sour watermelon candies, perhaps I should have gotten some actual food to dilute the trash. That's kind of a terrible analogy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a constant looping melody, but giving it a tiny bit of variety when it repeats itself can give it a little spice. Can I just go ahead and mention that I, 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 I kind of love that idea? Oh yeah, sometimes changing the key is a fun way to do it as well. Let's try an example from an actual game, my fellow gamers. So Megalovania is a good example of this once again, but let's try another random song. Notice how both halves of the melody start the same way, but both end differently. That is some top variation, my lads. And also one of the best songs ever made. Fight me, I don't care. Because I'm against the whole limiting your options thing, here's an example showing that a looping melody with no changes can still sound just as fine. Given the right structure and rhythms and other things, anything could really just sound good, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I, I... do I know things? Do I know anything? Tip 4. Reel them in with that harmony. Ah yes, harmonies. Under the right circumstances, they can give your melody a little more oomph. Yeah, sorry, not really the best at explaining this stuff. But uh, here's an example of a melody with and without a harmony. In this case, it's a minor third harmony, but I think. Which one sounded better to you? It all comes down to preference. Tip 4.5, reel them in with that solo. Sometimes a harmony can be too much. Sometimes the melody is strong enough to just stand out on its own. But the only way to find out is to experiment, which brings me to the last and possibly the most important tip. Tip five, experiment. Yeah, just do the thing, I don't know. Just make something that sounds good to you and just, just play around your melody, add some harmonies, change the key. Hell, you could just change the entire atmosphere and the style of it. See if it's something worth of becoming a leitmotif. As long as you put your passion and love into it, it shouldn't matter. That's kind of the great part of art. You can essentially do whatever you want. This is how I personally do it, without actually, you know, thinking about it. But even then, I tend to break my own mental rules and try new things and expand my list of techniques. In the end, it all comes down to you and your personal enjoyment. If you truly enjoy your work, someone will as well. Uh, there it is. Just, you know, just do what you gotta do. And, uh, I hope this inspired in some way. And, uh, yeah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a little different from what I usually do, but, uh, I just thought it would be a little fun thing. And I, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed that whole tutorial. Or, not really, just tip thing if you want to see more stuff like this every single saturday give or take uh you can feel free to hit the old uh slippery slope button down below it really does help out and if you want to see more videos like this one let me know in the comments below and uh, i'll see what i can do special shout out to my patrons scrolling across the screen right now for helping me maintain this as a full-time job uh thanks to you guys i'm able to make 
continue making these videos. So uh, thank you very, very much. If you are interested in checking out my Patreon, all the rewards it has to offer, you can check out a link right here. You can click a link above. There's a link in the description below. And if you become a patron right now, I'll, I'll give you one extra tip. You know what? I'll do it right now. Here's the extra tip. Don't eat Popeye's biscuits without a liter of water next to you to wash it down. You can pledge as little as $1 a month, and uh, that $1 really does go a long way, so uh, feel free to check it out if you want. I also have a Twitch and a Twitter where I like to uh, be social and do things. Sometimes I do music stuff like this on Twitch. I'll make a song, sometimes with challenges. I also really like to stream video games, so come along. And uh, that is all. I, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's always fun trying out, you know, new-ish things. And, um... Yeah, I will uh, maybe take a break next week. I, I don't know yet. It's either that or you're going to get a new song with guitars in it. Either way, I will see you guys. Goodbye.